What's up guys, War here. Today we finally got some brand new news about Season 3 of Diablo 4. Let's do it. So we all have been waiting for all the news surrounding Season 3 for Diablo 4. We have only a few weeks away before the season actually drops and we've just been ghosted essentially by the devs. They finally, finally reached back out to us and just gave us a little bit of a sneak peek. So let's get into it. All right, so over here on Twitter, we're over here on Adam Fletcher, Pez Radar's Twitter, and they finally tweeted something out. So we have a few things here. First, I want to note that on the 8th, they did tweet out this. I know there's a lot of anticipation uh, towards Season 3 news for Diablo 4. We've been a bit quiet because people have been rolling back in from the holiday break. Boy, that's a long holiday. Uh, but they're gonna have more news and then a developer live stream update from Blizzard Albany. So if we go back and just kind of take a look, they finally posted and gave us some news here. Um, your questions will be answered. Tune into the developer update stream at 9 a.m. PT on January 18th. Now I do wanna keep in mind that this is roughly about 10 days prior to the brand new season going live so i'm very very nervous about what they're going to do but the details are there's new details gameplay features as well as quality of life updates so let's go click the more details and just see what they're talking about so the next one is january 18th and they're going to have uh the director of community of course adam fletcher is going to be there daniel uh, Tanguay and then guest designer Madeline is going to be there. Also, lead class designer Adam is going to be there because he also tweeted about um, going over all the brand new um, Adam Jackson tweets about. He's going to be covering class updates and more other balance changes. I said, I hope there's some good changes coming. Hashtag buff Sork because as a Sork man, we need to have Sorks be stronger. So, uh, but it looks like this is all the information that we have. I wish we had more for you, but I kind of just wanted to talk about, you know, a few of the things that I'm concerned with. One, they've been very, very hush hush. And I know this is, might be a hot take. You let me know down in the comments, but besides the holidays, they've been pretty hush hush about, um, Diablo four season three. Now, if you want to go to just to the news, right. And you go over to their games. We already know a few of the things that are actually coming to Diablo 4 Season 3 because we already got them from the patch notes in the, in the last campfire, right? So we know that we have all the stuff coming from the uh, the seasonal leaderboard is going to be here where we get the, the leaderboards going in and out, right? We got those coming. And then we also have uh, just very, very small changes. All that can be listed here into the last campfire recap. All this stuff is here if you guys definitely want to check it out. But we got some changes we already know about coming. We got the leaderboards, which are finally hitting in Season 3, which is a week-to-week -week update. Uh, basically, you just go do the same dungeon. You know, you got a week to get your name on the board. And then it resets, and it just goes over and over and over again. It's rinse and repeat, right? So we already know about a few things coming. However, I am very, very nervous because they have been so hush-hush about this season when typically in the past the devs over at diablo have been very very vocal They're, they've been really trying to hype up diablo like each season just hype it up hype it up hype it up and i wonder if because in the past they've done that and it's just become like they like bombed in if in like season zero season one season two has by far been their best season um as far as feedback and changes in quality of life just to make it better but i wonder if they're just trying to be quiet to surprise us maybe they got something they've been cooking up and it's going to be really really cool i hope so but also on the other end because they're hush hush and they're just not rolling back in from the holidays that does make me really really nervous about the upcoming season because just like a lot of people guys i have swapped over to poe because after about a month maybe a month and two weeks of a brand new season and you grinded out absolutely everything that you can do you know you get all five classes to 100 and there's just nothing left to do. You can only grind Durial so much, right? And once you get all the Ubers, you're done. So we'll see. I hope that the season three season three theme is going to just blow us away. I hope it's a massive season because come season four, we know that we're going to be getting a lot of itemization changes, which we know is probably going to be the 
meat and potatoes of that update in season and this and the theme is probably going to be lackluster kind of how season two's theme was just you know very lackluster with vampiric powers but we got all these huge changes so it, it balanced out very well i don't know guys you let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about season three why they've been so hush hush you let me know maybe there's something you guys don't know or know that i don't know and there's something i missed maybe maybe they got something cooking really good so let me know down in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe turn on notifications guys and as always stay gaming see you guys in the next one peace